You know, it seems that collecting Moto Origins and Masterverse stuff has just been a real mess as of 2023. New product is definitely out there as of, you know, sometime at the end of March. The stuff's already been turning up, popping up here and there, left and right. Certain people have it, some people don't, okay? Depending on where you ordered the thing from, you may get it early, you may not. And I'm just wondering to myself, okay, is there actually even a system to getting all this stuff anymore? The line that was supposed to be a huge draw for fans at retail and department stores now seems to be delegated solely to online stores only and often at much more inflated prices, especially when shipping, handling, and taxes are taken into account. So how do you manage your collections accordingly? You just pay up whatever the website says you have to. Okay, if it says the thing's that price, you just pay up that price if you want it. Okay, if it says the shipping costs that much, you just pay that shipping price, all right? You pay in order to play, okay? Or else... It's just pain, okay? Pain! Yeah. Recently, the adultcollector.org site posted an excerpt of a new interview with Mattel. Shout out to the adultcollector.org team for the incredible work they've been doing for the community all these years. In that interview, it was stated that the word from Mattel was that new Moto toys would be coming back to retail sometime in the fall to places like Target and Walmart in the US. No word on the situation for international, no word at all, all right? So what about the rest of the world? Okay, by the way, the fall is a long way to go, player. Meanwhile, we have to get through summer and there's a lot of stuff that's been turning up selectively at odd places in unexpected areas at much higher prices. Some collectors have been finding it. Others are just left wondering, where did you get it? Now, a statement that says that the Motu toys will be back at retail sometime in the fall is pretty generic. And, you know, it doesn't really go into detail as to what collectors can actually expect. It does not acknowledge the fact that new waves of figures have been missing from retail for a very long time. Okay, while at the same time, it indicates that there is a plan for them to return. But where have they been all this time? Okay, that's what people want to know. Now, speaking of generic sounding statements, that was pretty much how the reply that I received previously from Mattel earlier this year was as well. Some followers will remember a video that I posted in March that featured an interview with Mattel Malaysia. The video contained all sorts of new information detailing some of the future plans for the brand. Within 12 hours of being up, I received a notification from Mattel requesting that the video be taken down. Now, I actually decided to do this video up now because a couple of days back and after some following up, I finally received some clarification as to why the takedown request came in. And I will be discussing that in a separate video soon that will be up exclusively on my Patreon page. And on that, thank you once again to all supporters here. But once again, okay, one of the questions that was asked during that initial interview was, what would be the local product distribution outlook for the two core lines of Origins and Master Wars be like in 2023? Because at the time, there was all this talk that the line was in trouble. So I just wanted to know, what would the distribution outlook be like for the rest of the year? So they actually replied me, and this was the reply that came in in early March in my video. They indicated that the distribution would be mainly focused at hobby shops, Mattel official stores on e-commerce, as well as Toys R Us stores here in Malaysia. They also indicated that, you know, we would have new assortments for Origins and Masterverse and to keep a lookout on Mattel's official stores. Okay, so that was a clear indication that something was going to be happening. Of course, there was more to that video as well. But um, this was an indicator as of early March that there would definitely be new product coming in for the year as well as a presence at retail. However, it did not state just exactly what would be at retail. Okay, would it be all of the advertised lines or just a selection? Okay, and it did not address the fact that the actual distribution at retail for Origins of Masterverse stopped at retail here as of mid-2021, okay, with Origins Wave 6 and Masterverse Wave 4 respectively. Those were the final figures that actually turned up at stores. However, in 2022, there were a small selection of deluxe Masterverse figures that turned up at the last quarter of the year, such as Trapjaw, Hordak, and she -Ra. I covered all those here on the channel. And then we also had the two figures that were specially released as part of He-Man's 40th anniversary birthday celebrations, which was the Masterverse original He-Man and the special deluxe Beastman figure. Just these two guys, plus Hordak and Shira, and the trap jaw that made it down from a Walmart exclusive in the US. You know, I guess they couldn't get rid of the stuff there, so they brought it all down here. And that's it, okay? Nothing else made it down here to retail. I wonder what happened to that King Grayskull figure, you know? 
<laughs> and then when it came to Origins, all that we saw was the vehicle products like Stridor and the Roton turn up as selected retail outlets, but none of the action figure waves. Okay, like I said, none since Wave 6 in 2021. Now, since this reply from Mattel, okay, since the time that they stated that there will be new product at retail in 2023, has there actually been anything that turned up? Okay, by the way, I'm still waiting on that Wave 13, okay? The wave that turned up sometime in what? February in Australia and some other parts of the world, some parts of California. Where the hell's Wave 13, okay? You know, anyway, since that time, has there actually been anything that's turned up at the physical or online stores here in Malaysia? Well, just two items to be exact, which are Too Bad and the Mechanic and Ground Reaper set. Now, I don't know what's really special about these guys that they happen to be the ones to turn up here at retail, but I can see something of a trend here. It seems that the Masterverse Deluxe figures have a better chance at turning up at department stores here and also the vehicle products, okay? So far to date, every single vehicle product, whether they came with a figure or whether it was just a vehicle by itself, every single one of those vehicle sets has turned up here and uh, that includes Mechanic and the Ground Reaper. So I'm starting to see a trend here. It seems that maybe these particular figures are probably seen as more eye-catching, more lucrative, like a better deal because they're bigger, there's more going on with them. I'm not really sure what the deal is, okay? But everything else appears to have just been flat out ignored. Now here's why it's so important that stuff like this is actually obtained at retail. They are supposed to be at retail anyway. And here's why it's so important. You see like stuff like Too Bad here, he gets discounted down to something like from 159.90 Malaysian Ringgit to something like 20 Ringgit lesser on special sales occasions like yesterday being the 6th of June. So it was the 6th sale. It was happening nationwide. Everything is being slashed. Everything that's at retail or online retail is being slashed down in prices. Similarly as well for Mechanic. Mechanic is like a $35 figure in the US. Okay, this whole set with the Ground Reaper is like $35. But it gets discounted down by 20 ringgit as well. And also, one particular hobby store, a very famous hobby store here in Malaysia, actually because they had the stocks on hand because retail brought it in, they were able to discount it down to like 116 ringgit just for yesterday's sale period. And that works out to something like about 25 USD. So if I were to go on to BBTS right now, I could only get the Mechanic and Ground Reaper for 35 USD. Okay, that's huge. Okay, I mean, if you're international, you're going to have to pay that amount plus shipping, taxes, all that stuff. Man, it's hell. Okay, you don't want that. All right. How are you supposed to manage your collections? Like I said at the start of the video. So this is the whole deal right here. Okay, retail is supposed to be present for a toy line like this. If I were to look at something like, you know, anything that Hasbro's got out at the moment, okay, anything from their 16 scale, whether it's Black Series, whether it's the Plasma Series, whether it's Classified Series, whether it's the Adventure Series with Indiana Jones, okay, any of that stuff, it's all at retail. So you have these Masterverse figures, then you also have the Hasbro stuff, both of which are being produced at quantities that are meant for retail. Okay, the Masterverse figures are in fact bigger, they're like 7 inch, they're cheaper than anything from Hasbro, that's for sure. But somehow, okay, it works out that you end up paying double for them because you can't find them anywhere. How does that work out? So honestly, this announcement, okay, this reply, whether it was to me or whether it was the reply that came out from adultcollector.org about stuff being back at retail, honestly, I gotta tell you that there's been a problem with distribution with this stuff, with He-Man stuff since all the way back from the 2002 days, okay? That's why stuff mysteriously appeared in international countries, never surfaced anywhere else. And I think that whatever the situation is, there's definitely going to be some items that will be making a comeback to department stores, but not everything else, all right? So I would expect to see something like perhaps Snake Mountain, okay? Because it's something that's different and impressive enough to probably catch people's attention again. But none of those regular waves, like 13, 14, 15, you know, all of those Snake Man figures, I don't think they're ever going to be at retail here. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but I think that's pretty much what the message is. You know, before I go, um, recently we've seen that, you know, Mattel has been working a lot with the US influencers, either on YouTube or on Instagram or just any kind of form of social media. They've been working a lot with a selected group of US influencers to get the messaging out. 
to get the product information out. And recently also we saw that Mattel had sent out the new Masterverse Whiplash figure and also the Point Dread and Talon Fighter sets to the same team of dedicated influencers for them to get the reviews out early. So you know this because all of the reviews pretty much hit everywhere at the same time. Okay, it's on YouTube, Instagram, photos, talking points, everything, okay? Video footage, the full breakdown. Okay, so everything that we need to know about the toy except actually getting it in our hands, all right? So what I want to know is just that since this was obviously part of a very focused and coordinated effort on the part of Mattel to ensure that these specific toys and figures would be out there in the hands of reviewers at a specific time, okay, it's a very coordinated, almost like a guided missile, okay, guaranteed to strike and hit its target, okay, <laughs> at a scheduled time, right, date, place and time. So, you know, it's very focused, like I said. Can we also see the same amount of effort in ensuring that these particular figures and others like them are also available as promised at your favorite department store? See, you got to wonder about that, okay? Because that seems to be the way, okay? We can see the reviews. It's official reviews, okay? Licensed, you know, authorized by Mattel at the date that they wanted it to be. So, can we also get the toys in the same way? You know, can somebody like me in Malaysia also get my hands on them? Okay, if I walk into the store tomorrow, what's the deal? Can fans of Motu from all over the world, whether it's in Malaysia or Mongolia, okay, can we just expect to just see these figures in stores right now because the reviews are already out there, official reviews? Well, that's what we need to find out. There's going to be a part two to this video, like I said. It's going to be up on Patreon. And also, you know, for channel members to access, I'll probably have it up in about a week or so. Until then, you know, well, I'll keep monitoring the situation here. You know, the hope is always that all this stuff will be available, easily accessible for fans like us all over the world who are on the ground, hoping to just secure this stuff okay, in a safe and affordable manner without having to pay exorbitant shipping charges. Okay, don't ask me to do that, right? Come on, okay, the shipping charges alone, I can buy like maybe five new figures. Okay, you tell me, right? Well, that's it for me. Until next time.